It often happens that when we are wiring or replacing a malfunction unit, we are restricted by the number of available radio elements. And it's not always that we can find the elements with the required ratings. In this case, we need to use series and parallel circuits in order to obtain the necessary values. Let's look at how to calculate the total capacitance of capacitors connected in parallel and in series. When the capacitors are connected in parallel, their total capacitance will be equal to the sum of the individual capacitances. C equals C1 plus C2. For example, if we take two capacitors with the capacitance of one microfarad each and connect them in parallel, the total capacitance will amount to two microfarad. In this case, the voltage between the armatures of all the capacitors will be the same. In other words, in order to obtain larger capacitances, we need to connect the capacitors in parallel. When the ca capacitors are connected in series, the reciprocal of the total capacitance will be equal to the sum of the reciprocals of individual capacitances. 1 divided C equals 1 divided C1 plus 1 divided C2. This capacitance will always be lower than the minimum value of capacitor that, that is a part of the bank. Let's look at the example with two capacitors. C equals C1 multiple C2 divide C1 plus C2. If two capacitors with the same capacitance of, say, one microfarad are connected in series, their total capacitance will be equal to half time the capacitance of one capacitor. It means 0 0.5 microfarad. In the case of connection in series, the possibility of breakdown is lower because each of the capacitors is subjected only to a part of potential difference of a power supply source. Knowing the calculation principle for the overall capacitance of capacitors connected in parallel and series, you will always be able to find a way out when restricted by the number of available ratings.